降服、决定胜负的话，将由裁判计算双方的得分，做最后的判定。好的，现场的观众，展现你们的热情吧！顶尖赛事正式开始。第一场比赛是女子草量级的赛事，首先欢迎蓝方选手 ，Please welcome the blue corner， 永华 Park。All right, so entering the ring right now is Yunhua、uh, Park from Korea. Fighting style is、uh, BJJ. Now, I think she's coming into this match uh, a little overweight. Matt, is that correct? Yeah, that's right, Wayne. She uh, weighed in five pounds overweight. And uh, the rules are if you're overweight, they'll take two points off the entire match, which puts her at a pretty serious disadvantage. That being said, though, she does come in at a weight advantage and a height advantage. So I still think this will be a very interesting match to see the way uh, Wu decides to take it. Yeah, she continues. It's, it's interesting you mentioned it was a height advantage. It looks like 12 centimeter height advantage. <laughs> 接下来欢迎红方选手 ，Please welcome the red corner， 魔力小红吴小珍。Entering the ring, she looks a little bit fierce, man. Yeah, I actually saw her、uh, train a couple times, and she is definitely a fighter. And despite the fact that she does have that jujitsu background, she is also adept at、uh, sanda, which is、uh, very popular here in Taiwan. Yeah, I saw her outside before the fight, and she was all business. Now I know she comes in quite a bit shorter than Park, but I'm not sure that's going to bother her at all. Too worried either because I've seen her spar big guys before, and she can definitely hold her own. So Matt, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the difference if they get to the ground. What's the difference for the height? How's that going to affect this fight? Well, the height will definitely make submissions easier for Park Yong or Yong Hua Park.、Uh, long legs make it easy to do triangles,、uh, throw arm bars. That being said, though, being 
shorter, uh, if you are able to get the takedown, it can, it, you're able to control the inside space a lot better on a taller opponent. But generally speaking, when it comes to fighting, uh, the taller you are, usually you have a better advantage. Well, and not to mention the weight, right? And she the also weight. comes in heavier, so. Yeah. One thing about weight that people don't realize is it's not just that she's five pounds bigger than Wu, but Wu is five pounds lighter. So some people, the way they describe it as a 10 pound weight difference in this case, because not only is she heavier, but uh, Wu is lighter. So it's a double advantage for the heavier opponent. Well, yeah, and for your average fight watcher, they don't really understand the lighter and the larger because right. it's actually, a, a, like you said, it's a double whammy, right? Yeah, exactly. It's an advantage for one fighter and a disadvantage for the other, so it's like a double advantage. But something has to be said for the fact that she's a little bit of a local hero around here, so I would guess that 99.9% .9 of this crowd is going to be backing her tonight. Yeah, the crowd support can definitely play a big difference on your uh, mentality and your ability to, to keep driving forward. You know, I think Korea's already done their part by beating Germany in the World Cup, right? <laughs> so let's take a look at the tail of the tape here. Uh, Wu comes in at the age of 34, oh, where no. Park is 22 years of age. The height difference, 167, 156. So you can see she came in overweight. Park came in overweight at 54.5. Wu is only 52. Yeah, and a reach of 157. You can definitely see she has Representing the yeah, it's actually lab. really interesting, the age difference here. Yeah. I think it's almost like me and you, Matt. There's about 12, is it 12 years in age difference yeah. between the two. Um, that's that's got to mean something in the octagon, for sure. Yeah. Wu is at 156 I'm really interested to see how Wu will approach this fight. Will she try to keep it standing and keep the distance? Or will she try to take it to the ground? Well, she knew coming in that she was going to be outweighed and she knew that her opponent was taller, right? Right. So that's a strategy that you can prepare for, correct? I think to some degree, yes, but she didn't know that she, her opponent was going to be overweight until probably the last week. So she might have to change her game plan uh, with not much time to prepare. Well, we're pretty excited here. We're just about to get the fight started. A few words from our referee. He's telling everyone to play clean, I think. <laughs> you can already see the height advantage. And the referee is explaining the two-point deduction for the overweight, or coming in overweight. And that'll play a significant role because a two-point advantage. Oh, sorry, sorry, continue. Yeah, a two-point advantage in a three-round fight. That's basically uh, a guaranteed win for each round unless uh, Park does significantly dominate each round. So we're on our way in Taipei. The first match of the night. We got Wu in the black and orange trunks, and we got Park in the pink and black trunks. You can see there's a significant height advantage out there, Matt. That's right. One thing that's really good to do against a southpaw is just to start with a straight right hand. Oh, she got caught. Oh, she landed one there. But with the size advantage, it might be difficult to land that without setting it up. So you think she needs to keep her distance in this fight if she doesn't want to worry about getting tagged from those long arms? Yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting because she might want to keep her distance because of the grappling advantage. But because of the range adva reach advantage, she's going to have to at least close some distance to land her own. She's trying to land. Oh, she, nice. she's trying to land the right hook there, but she just keeps missing. I like how she's controlling the center of the ring. And even though she's the shorter of the fighter, to me it seems like she's the aggressor. Yes. Uh, and it's almost as if Park is just waiting for her time. You know, the weight advantage could also mean that her cardio Ooh, might not be as good. Strong right hand there. That's what they say, the best counter to a southpaw is that straight right. But it also goes the other way for the southpaw, straight left. Equally effective, nice leg kick. 
Now, if she can stay outside and keep landing that left leg kick, she could definitely do some damage to Park. Yes, they'll also uh, hinder her takedowns and her movement. And being a lefty, she's always leaning on her right leg. So yeah. if she continues to work that right leg, it could be some big trouble. She needs to be careful not to get too close to those long arms. We're going to find out soon who has the stronger chin here, Matt, I think. Yeah. I think a good strategy for her would be to try to get Park her back towards the cage where the she won't be able to. Strong left hand from Park there. Sorry, Matt, you were saying about the strategy. Uh, yeah, I think a good strategy for Wu would be to try to get Parks back against the cage. Where she, oh, that was a strong oh, right hand. Another strong right hand. It's like, yeah, it's just like a, she seems to be landing a lot of solid punches yeah. here. Good inside leg kick. That's the third time she tagged her with a punch. It looks like, is, is there some blood coming from Parks' nose? It's hard to tell. Oh, another strong left hand. There, now her sh uh, shouldn't have let her off the cage. She keeps letting her get to the center of the ring. Right. She ch should be trying to back her into the cage here. Back her into the cage where she can't back up. She won't have the ability to back away and use her reach as well. But we're finding early on in this fight, she's not really using her reach at all. No, she's, not she's not using the long arms. She's not using the long legs. It's U who's landing the better punches. That's right. I'm not... She should, uh, Park should definitely be trying to throw more jabs, jab, uh, kick, con low kick combos. Use that reach advantage. Well, yeah, if she can jab, jab with the right, she can set up that strong left, right? That's and she right. said, Park was saying pre-match that she loves to use her straight left. Yeah. She said that's her stronger punch. And then you can see who lands another punch. It's a nice punch. I can definitely see some blood coming out of it. I think that Wu's using her height disadvantage to her advantage, if you will. She's, she's getting in and getting out, and she's landing all the punches in this match. Yeah, she's definitely doing much better on the standing. And this is what I was, you know, this is where things get interesting now. Is Wu going to try to take this to the ground or just control her on the cage? They're both blue belts in jiu-jitsu. So they're well versed on the floor. They're they're well, they're they know well what they're doing. Yeah. But I think Park would have the advantage. Nice turn. Nice inside legs. What I like to see Wu try and do is get an underhook on her right side. That, if she's able to get a double underhook, she won't be able to get turned as easily. Again, it looked like another strong right strong. by Wu. I'm not sure why she let her off the cage there. She seems to be more comfortable fighting out in the middle I of the would, ring. It's like I was and saying, it might be. Another strong left by Wu. I think it would be a better, it's a better strategy for her to keep it standing, where the weight advantage doesn't come into play. And so far, uh, Park's reach advantage is not, she's not been utilizing it very well at all. What a great first round by Wu Jiaozhen of Taiwan. I think in my scorecards, that's an easy one for Wu, Matt. Yeah, what do you think? I, I agree with that. She landed a lot of straight rights and controlled her against the cage. It, it's kind of the contrary of what we thought coming in. We thought that Park would be using those long legs and those long arms to take advantage of her length and maybe even her weight, but she didn't really do any of that in the first round, Matt. Yeah, I would maybe give a little bit of credit to that to Park, to Wu's movement. She's doing a good job moving in and out. There, you can see another strong right hook to the chin of Park. And if there is something to be said about being the shorter fighters, once you get on the inside, you do have a, an advantage with your punches. And that does seem to be where Wu is, Wu is taking advantage of. And also, you can see from that last replay that Park seems to be putting her head down when she's firing her punches. And then the counter punches are coming from the right hook of Wu, and she's been landing a lot of them. Yeah. You don't want to look down. You can't see where the punches are coming from. Well, if you look down too long, you'll be looking up pretty quick. <laughs> and nobody wants to be looking up in that way, do they? Right. I'll be interested to see this round, how if Park decides to change her strategy at all. It looked like she was trying to keep it on the inside. 
or on the outside. Well, I think at some point she has to become the aggressor because she's down points, <coughs> right. and she's already lost a round. Right. Um, time is definitely not on her side. And as you become more of an aggressor, you leave yourself open to more of these big blows, correct? Uh, correct. I think it's, it doesn't look like she's doing very well in the stand-up department. I think now would be the time to take this to the ground, if possible. Well, yeah, it's very interesting that she said pre-fight that her favorite or her go-to was her straight left, but I don't think I've seen it yet in, in this yeah, fight. I think she's only thrown one good one. It, it could be that, like you said, coming into this match, she's a bit overweight, which makes her a bit slower yep. and ooze a bit quicker. That's always the question when people come overweight is their cardio. If they're not able to cut that weight, maybe, maybe they're just not in very good shape. Yeah, I think I would have a problem in that ring. <laughs> <laughs> you also have to take in consideration is how hard they're going to try to cut those last pounds so they might do desperate things, you know, dehydrate themselves before the weigh-in, and that will have an effect uh, come fight day. Right, where you can see that Wu is pretty much herself. Right. She's full of energy. She's got the adrenaline pumping, and that's why she's able to land those right hooks and uh, left straights. <laughs> I want to see Park mix it up a bit more. She's throwing these. Oh, oh another strong with a right, right hand. Head went back on that. Oh, one. her knees are definitely a bit wobbly after that one. I think she's wondering if she's in Taiwan or where <laughs> she is right now. I'd like to see Chen Wu follow up on that straight right. It's landing, but... Yeah, she seems to be landing one at a time and one at a right. time, right? There's, there's no combination of punches. But you can see under the left eye of Park, it seems to be swelling there. Again, coming into this fight, I, I wasn't so sure of Wu's ability to stand up and battle it out with Park, but yeah. she's definitely the aggressor in this fight. She does have that background in Sanda, whereas uh, Park... She's only done a little bit of Taekwondo in her past, so on paper, she has, Wu has the striking advantage, but physically, Park does. But you can see she's constantly working that left, that right leg of Park. If you can look down, you see the, how red that right leg yeah. of Park is. Well, you can see uh, Park is putting a lot of weight on that uh, lead leg. But, and she's doing it gingerly. Yeah, which makes that leg kick even. Worse. So right now she looks like a rainbow. <laughs> she has two red eyes and one red leg. Oh, oh another again. straight right. Straight right. That eye is starting to close over, man. Yeah. That inside of her, her leg is getting red. I would be very surprised if this fight isn't stopped very soon. Again, I'd like to go back to what you said, Matt. I think that Wu is missing out on that finishing touch. Yep. I would like to see, you know, there's the risk where she throws the combinations and she might get taken down, but I think that's a risk that you, I'd be willing to take with the two-point advantage. You definitely won the first round, and you're winning this round. I, I think Park is in a world of hurt right now. I'm not even sure she's thinking about a takedown. I, she's definitely very hesitant on her moves, because every time she comes in, she's eating this straight right or a leg kick. Yeah, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> isn't it? Maybe even a midnight snack with that right hand. You know, in Taiwan, we love our midnight snacks. Nice oh, team kick. She's really, really working the whole body of Park. Yeah. I think the strategy is pretty clear for Wu coming in here. It was to stay in the middle of the ring and just scrap it out, if you will. And that's what I was wondering. Would she try to keep it standing, or would she try to take it to the ground? She, clearly, she would rather keep it standing, which I think is the better strategy. Well, like you mentioned, every time Park tries to get close, it's left jab or straight right. Yeah. Left jab or straight right. Inside leg kick. She Park can... needs to go broke. She needs to go for her at all. It just try to get a hold of her any way she can. I'm not even sure she can, though. She can't even put any weight on that right leg. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. You might eat a couple of punches coming in, but oh. Uh oh, she ate a big one there. <laughs> I'm not sure she could handle that one. That's a nice elbow. 
10 seconds left. You can almost tell that Park is a little bit more comfortable in this position. Yeah, this is where she can apply her weight. She definitely looks like the more tired fighter at this point. But it begs the question, why isn't she trying to take down Wu? Yeah. At this point, it's going to be real difficult. They're sweaty. Her leg is all red. She's been eating a bunch of right straights. Well, you can look at her face. It looks like she's been tagged, I don't know, 15, 20 <laughs> straight times there. And then, on the contrary, over here, you look at Wu's face. It looks yeah, like she's ready looks, to go to dinner. It looks like... <laughs> Now, we're just she, talking about eating punches a lot, so I just figured we would talk hey. about going to dinner as well. <laughs> she just might after this. The spike continues to go this way. Oh, you can see oh. there another right hand to the face. She's also opening her up with those leg kicks. One thing I'm noticing from these replays is she t uh, Park tends to wince and close her eyes a little bit as these punches are coming. Well, even when she throws the punches, yeah. she's closing her eyes or her, she's staring at the exactly. mat. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not much of a fighter myself, Matt, but uh, I don't think you should look at the mat when you throw punches. Yeah, it's not a good, uh, it's not a good habit. All right, round three coming up. Park has to go for broke if she wants any chance at all yeah, of winning this match. Lost two rounds and down two points. She has to finish in this round if she wants to win. This is when you go for broke. Yeah, oh, just another broke. left jab to the chin of Park. She just can't get close to her. At this point, she needs to just circle and ch chase her down, try to get her against the cage. Or just enjoy the or rest of her trip in <laughs> Taiwan, because I'm not sure she's enjoying too much yeah. of this. Might want to take it easy in that case, so yeah. There's lots of nice things. You don't have things. to spend too long in the hospital. There's lots of nice things to see outside the hospital in Taiwan. Yeah. Conserve yourself in that case. Solid, solid game plan from Wu coming into this fight. Another strong right to the chin of Park. Caught her coming in. Park needs to figure out a way to instigate a grappling match here. The striking isn't working for her. See, she's, she's been getting hit so much that she's starting to flinch and look down. It's becoming very obvious. Well, yeah, it's a bit of a round peg square hole or yeah. square peg round hole thing. She can't figure out how to get close. Right. Now she's, get, she's got her a little bit up against the cage. Oh. That was Wu going for the haymaker oh, yeah. there. I mean, at this point, I would rather see that kind of stuff. From Park instead of Wu, right? Right. I think Wu's just going to keep the fight in the middle of the ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, strong oh, kick wow. there. Wow. You hear that. Absolute tag from the side <laughs> of the ring there. I think I felt that one, Matt. Yeah. Another strong Good leg kick. Place. I'm not sure I'd like to wake up tomorrow feeling like she's going to feel. Yeah, she's definitely. Not. There we go. She needs to change levels if she wants this takedown. Got her against the cage. Let's see how she approaches this nice trip attack. She's not quite there yet. This is a good position for Park, though. If she's able to, there, she can start landing some big strikes right here. Now she's got the back of Wu, which is very, very dangerous, very dangerous. here. It's going to be hard to get that choke, though, with uh, Wu's back near the cage. Uh, if I were Park, I'd probably just start letting loose with the strikes to try and open her up. All right, it's a bit better. This is not the position is, that she is, was. This is getting real bad now. She's got her back for. with the hooks. All she needs to do is get her arm tight under that chin and pull. It can be difficult with those gloves. Let's see what Wu does to try and get out of this. It's, she's really close to getting under that chin, Matt. Yep. She's doing a good job of fighting fighting one of those hands. Now, this is where this weight and length strength is going to come into play here. Right. This is what I'm saying. Is it doesn't take much either. Once She's you get into that dominant position, all that weight and power. I think she needs to posture up here, yes, and then just yeah. pound on the face of Wu. I want to see Wu get on her other hip. She needs to get onto her uh, right hip instead. Fight for an underhook, and she'll be able to get back up. 
but you can see the right leg of Park is stopping her from doing that. Yeah. Yes. She can use, she needs to use a free hand to push There's her knee. Ground and pound there. Oh, she she's knows. absolutely teeing off on her. Is this going to end? We're going to stop this fight? Okay. That looked like a stop that to me. Almost looked like a stop to me. Uh, does she, she's got the hooks in. She's got hooks in. If she gets flattened out, this could get real she bad. She can flatten her out and get that arm under her chin. She needs to, who needs to turn, get, get her off her, get out, get out of that turtle position. Oh, there she you almost go. flattened her out. She's got one hook out. She's going to eat some punches here. Oh, these are hard punches. You can hear them. That's going to open her up for that. Your naked choke. Who's starting to fight the hands? She needs to get onto her right hip. It's going to be pretty hard to do that with her back against the cage. Although 25 seconds left, if she's able to just hold out, she may very well win this fight because of the point deduction, which may be the strategy at this point. That's uh, easier said than done, yeah. I think. 25 seconds in a ring is, uh, a, a, is a very long time. Oh, she's sliding off. See if she's able to capitalize. Wow. wow, great fight here, folks, for our first one on the card here in Taipei, Taiwan. Looks like Wu was just able to hang just on, Maddie. Able to. Just able to hang on. That's what I was saying, though. If she was able to do that much sooner in the fight or earlier in the round, so sometimes you just got to go for broke if you're a grappler. Eat those punches on the way in. That was not the way that Wu <laughs> envisioned ending that fight. That fight was very, very close to being called there. But it's interesting, Matt, that you called that strategy early in the fight. You said she should have done that earlier. Yep. Maybe she needs a coaching tip. <laughs> Sometimes when you start eating punches, it becomes you become very tunnel vision and you become afraid. Well, I guess at that point, all you can feel is the punches on yeah, your face. It's the, the bruising and the swelling going on which in turn leaves your neck open and your back open for chokes and bars and triangles and whatnot. Some of those punches were really hard. I can hear them. I don't know, Matt. Really I think we're off to a pretty good start here. Yeah, that fight was very interesting. I was very impressed with the way Wu took that fight, kept her distance. Whenever Park tried to come in, landed the straight right, the leg kick. But it was clearly a strategy from the get-go. Yes. If she gets close, tag, tag, tag. If she gets close, tag, tag, tag. She wanted nothing to do with the ground game, and we could and see we that. And we could see why, definitely. Got to give props to Wu for withstanding that barrage at the very end. As we pan to some of the Taiwan celebs. It's <laughs> good sportsmanship there. I love good sportsmanship. Yeah. So one thing that I feel like a lot of people who are new to MMA, they don't understand is how much respect these guys have for each other. Well, yeah, not just MMA. I know, Matt, you're well-versed yeah, in jiu-jitsu. Jiu same thing. One minute you're trying to the knock the person's head off, the next minute you're hugging. Number one, 28 to 27. Number two, 29 to 26. That sounds bad. So I think that was when that first score uh, had me a little nervous there for 28 27. 28 27, yeah. I wonder, was he scoring the match from outside, or <laughs> is he scoring the match from right next to us? Maybe they forgot about the two-point deductions. Ah, that's a good feeling. Start off the evening with a nice win for Taiwan yeah. here. It was a tough match for Wu coming in. Well, she had to survive that last, what, minute, 45, minute, 45 seconds? seconds? Yeah. And it was nice to see Park show what she is capable of at the very end there. I just wish we saw, if she was able to pull that off much earlier, this may have been a very different fight. I think if they had been fighting closer to this side of the ring, Matt, she could have <laughs> heard what you were saying, yeah. and then uh, she might have changed the strategy. But I'm not sure if you would have gotten out of here the right way tonight. Right. I did my job.